My name is Ozma Malcolm. I'm the son of Lizzie Lee, the brother of Lucretia Lee. Lizzie Lee was a mother that I've never had the honor and the privilege of knowing. From everything I've heard, she loved to cook. She helped everyone. She loved all of us. She was a great woman. Her daughter, Lucretia, my sister, was seven, just starting to live life, looking forward to enjoying a summer break, barbecues two days away. She was a good sister to Nicole and I. On July 2nd, 1981, at approximately 12.10 in the afternoon, the Chicago Police Department dispatched a patrol car to Mount Sinai Hospital. Upon arrival, they learned that a seven-year-old girl, Lucretia Lee, was pronounced dead. At the hospital, Lucretia's grandmother told officers that Lucretia was discovered unconscious by her two siblings. Lucretia, her brother Osmond, and her sister Nicole lived with their mother, Lizzie Malcolm, in a second floor apartment on Chicago's west side. Lucretia's grandmother also told officers that discovering her granddaughter unconscious on the floor and then rushing her to the hospital put her in a state of shock. It was at the hospital that the family realized that Lucretia's mother Lizzie was not accounted for. 11th District police officers responded with lights and sirens to 3328 West Monroe. They searched the residence and the building for Lizzie. When officers searched the second floor family residence, they made a truly grisly discovery. The lifeless body of 26-year-old Lizzie Malcolm was found inside a closet, underneath blankets and clothes. Her hands were handcuffed behind her back. She was gagged, and she had a telephone cord wrapped around her neck. Lucretia was rushed to Mount Sinai Hospital where she was pronounced dead. My mom was found in the closet, dead. The Cook County Medical Examiner would later determine that the cause and manner of death for both Lizzie and her daughter was homicide by strangulation. Detectives interviewed Lizzie's four-year-old daughter, Nicole, in the presence of her grandmother. Nicole told detectives she was afraid of a woman named Linda Nicole also told detectives that she and her two-year-old brother Osmond were placed in a bathroom by Linda and told not to come out. Nicole and I was placed in a bathroom before the murders took place. Nicole put me under the bathroom sink and told me to be quiet. Nicole and Osmond Malcolm eventually came out of the bathroom. It was then that the two siblings discovered their sister, Lucretia, lying unresponsive on the bedroom floor. Nicole ran back to her grandmother's apartment a block away at 3425 West Monroe. Area 4 homicide detectives, the Chicago Police Department Crime Lab, and other law enforcement assets responded to the crime scene to investigate this horrific double murder. Detectives were able to identify and locate witnesses who reported seeing Linda inside the family's apartment before fleeing in a vehicle. Investigators were able to ascertain the identity of Linda. However, due to circumstances beyond the control of the Chicago Police Department, as well as the Cook County State's Attorney's Office, Linda could not be arrested or charged with the murders of Lizzie and Lucretia. I remember all the nights I had to cry myself to sleep, wondering what would it be like if she was here. If I can just hear Lizzie's voice, if I can just touch her skin, if I can wake up and have coffee with my mom. I don't know if this is me being selfish or not, but I'm always going to be that two-year-old child holding on to that last day of my, that I was with my mom and my sister. 
We need information to bring a prosecution in this terrible double murder. No detail is too small. No piece of information is insignificant. Please call. Chicago police have been working on this case for 41 years. And for 41 years, they have not stopped the fight. Detectives may have changed. The case file may have changed hands but they're still fighting to resolve this murder. They're fighting to bring justice to Nicole Lee and I. When a mother and her seven-year-old daughter are discovered strangled to death in their apartment in Chicago, everyone needs to be involved. This goes for both the police and the community. If you or anyone you know have any information about the murder of Lizzie Malcolm and her daughter Lucretia, the Chicago Police Department needs your assistance. Please call us. Call Chicago Police. Help us solve this case. Help me heal my family. And help me put my mom and my sister to rest. We need your help. The families of those who have been murdered in Chicago need your help. Many of these families have had to grieve the loss of a loved one while carrying the additional burden of knowing the person responsible is still out there. Someone out there knows something that can help bring a measure of closure to these families. Our work doesn't end until the people responsible for these crimes are identified. We have not forgotten about these victims, and we will never forget. This case is open. Together, together, we can close it. If you have any information on this case, that means any information, you can call anonymously to the Homicide Tip Line at 833-408-0069. Tips leading to homicide charges or convictions can receive up to $15,000. You can also submit an anonymous tip through cpdtip.com.